welcome back to my channel. It's Boxy Charm time. So this is January's box. Breaking the ice is the theme for the month. Let's get the products out. First of all, the packaging on this got me right away. <laughs> so beautiful. All right, the first thing on the list is this Too Faced Cosmetics Diamond Light Highlighter. How you open. Uh, Canary Diamond is the color. Okay, so it looks like this and that. <laughs> So it's a box in a box. What is that? Sorry. It's your time to shine, it says inside. And then we've got this box, which is super cute. It's got a little, not sure why that's there. Maybe just for aesthetic looks, or maybe it holds the magnet. But it's a highlighter. It's a really beautiful highlighter. It's very, very yellow though. I'm not sure. Well, I guess it's not too bad from far away. Wow, you can see it a lot from there. Hmm. It's cute packaging. Not sure how I feel about Too Faced at the moment. Uh, I don't know if you guys keep up with drama. But uh, Naked Tutorials came out with a video coming out as a trans woman. Good for her, like, power to you, sis. Uh, but then the owner of Two Faces sister, who did work for the company, said some really nasty things on Twitter, or in her Twitter bio, and then the owner, Jared, I don't know his last name, came and said, we don't support that, we support the LGBT community, we, you know, support Nikki, and apparently the sister was fired, and so everyone's like canceling Two-Face, and I, I get it. I just really like some of their products, so. I'm gonna have to do some more research of my own to decide if I'm going to purchase from them anymore. So, that's where I'm at with that. So there's the highlighter. <laughs> It's a whole thing. All right, the next thing is Ace Butte Beauty, probably, eyeshadow palette, which is this gorgeous thing. So this is $36, this is $34.99. Ooh, there's some crazy colors in here. Some nice oranges and golds. This looks very yellow in the in the viewfinder but it is called sun but then we've got a pop of green and two like pops of blue in here but the rest is like a orangey brown eyeshadow palette so I, I gotta do my face anyway um, I'm supposed to meet up with someone for coffee and then hang out with Brittany later so Next from Wander Beauty, Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. Looks like we're getting like almost an entire full face out of this. Ooh, this has some texture to it, this packaging. Can you focus? There we go. You can see the texture. It's really, really cool. So it's called Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. The blush is really nice. I don't know if that bronzer is dark enough for me personally but we will give it a try as we always do uh, next is Avant skincare 8 hour radiance renewal sleeping mask 8 hour radiance renewal sleeping mask works to reveal more youthful and beautiful skin overnight it also helps to tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines $107 <sighs> That's a lot. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. $107 for a, a, a cream? Does this have gold in it? Like what? Hair 
Harriet. Stop that. It is a very thick cream. Not a ton of smell to it. Okay. Apply a thin layer to clean dry skin. Allow to absorb into the skin. No need to wash off. Hmm. But are you supposed to do it before bed? It doesn't say exactly when you're supposed to do it. I don't know. Yeah? So the last thing we have is Manicadar Beauty Lip Whip, a matte lip color that is whipped to perfection, easy to apply, and formulated with long-lasting pigment that don't dry out your lips. All right, $21. How does this open? Oh, 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 there we go. All right. I'm going to have to put it here. Ooh, this is a nice color. I do like that color. Pretty, a little bit darker than my natural lip color. I'm, I'm, I have a more pinky lip color, but. All right. Uh, let's, let's, let's do my makeup and give this a try. I've already got moisturizer on, so I'm going to turn off the camera, lay down a base, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got a base on. Let me go through what I've done today. I use the Hydropoose Whip Baldy Balm by Neutrogena as my, uh, moisturizer. And then I went under my eyes with the... Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. For my face, I use the Origins Ginseng Tinted Moisturizer. For concealer, I combined two different colors of the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Concealer. Um, I used 150 and 220, and I that's how I get the color. I mixed the two because I bought one that was too light, and then I bought one that was darker and so if I mix the two they look great together and then for powder I use the Pacifica cherry velvet matte translucent setting powder boom and now that's all put away <laughs> like we're gonna do my eyes first I like to do the eyes first that's just me let's get into this all right so I'm just going for coffee today so I don't need to look super glam but I do want to look cute so I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear yet Ugh. I also plucked my face this morning so I keep finding like random hairs it's great all right I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go into Grand Canyon and I'm going to put that above my orbital bone. It's really pigmented. Alright, so we've got some nice color there. You guys know I'm super simple when I put my makeup on, so don't expect too much. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in to fade which is a really dark brown and I'm gonna put that on my lid that added some nice depth okay, I'm gonna grab a blending brush and blend these two together I mean that's all I need right but let's add some sparkle actually I'm gonna put I'm gonna do my liner first I'm gonna grab the ColourPop liquid eyeliner numero uno. It's just their black one. ColourPop has so many colors of eyeliner now, I love it. Okay, I got some on my bottom lash line. Cause your girl is messy. Um, we were gonna add some color. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this small flat brush 
and see how these perform. I'm gonna go into Golden Hour, which is this nice bronzy shimmer. This actually went on okay with a brush. Just a simple three colors. Didn't even need to really do the shimmer if I didn't want to, but it adds something. All right, um, do I wanna put something on the bottom lash line? Yeah, I kinda do. Let's, let's keep going. Um, why don't we drop this blue on the bottom lash line? Let's see what happens. There we go. I like that. These colors worked out really nicely. Um, they blended really good. They went on super pigmented. I like it. I like it. All right. Put that to the side. And then I'm gonna grab my other set of brushes. All right, so we're gonna go into the bronzer and the blush palette now. This is the brush I like to use for bronzer. It's a little bit tapered. Costa Rea, Ray, Costa Rea, R E I. Not sure how to say that. That's actually a nice color on me. It's not too dark. It's not too light. I can see it. Yes, I like to put bronzer all over my face because I like to look like I go outside when I don't. All right, for blush, the color is called Bellini. Oh, that blush is super nice. That's a really cute color for me. You guys, things are working out today. I don't know why. And then let's go into this highlight. It's very, like, there's a lot of glitter in this. Yeah, there's a lot of glitter. I'm going to do up here. Forgot to do my brows. It's okay. All right. Well, the highlight's there. I'm not sure I like how glittery it is. I prefer a highlight that has like a, a natural glow most of the time, which I know seems weird for me because I like do my face to high heaven sometimes, but let me do my brows really quickly and grab some mascara. This is the best trick for getting mascara off if you've like got it on your face. Use an eyebrow brush and let it dry a little bit and then just kind of rub it off with that works and it doesn't smear. I love it. I don't remember where I saw that trick, but it's been awesome. All right, last but not least. Hello, where'd you go? There it is. <laughs> <clears throat> the Mana Kadar uh, lipstick. It's a very nice smooth formula. My lips are kind of raunchy right now. All right, we'll have to see how that dries down, but there is the full face with my boxy charm. What do we think? I don't know. I feel like I'm blinded by these lights a little bit. Maybe I can figure out something to dye it down a little bit, but the lips are nice. It dries down fairly quickly. It's not like dry dry. Yeah, definitely not transfer proof at the moment. I don't know if it might be. 
It seems to be drying out my lips a lot though. Like, I know they were already a little bit dry, but it's it seems to be drying them out even more. That highlight is crazy. But like I said, it's a ton of glitter. Uh, the eyeshadows look really nice. I guess um, I might check in with you guys later. If I do, you'll see it here. If I don't, you won't see that. <laughs> like, no one said I was perfect. I've never been perfect. Anyway, I got things to do today. So I'm going to go and do those things. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.